How to use the Kinesis virtual card. When wanting to access the virtual card in your account, you can do so from within the dashboard, which you can see here on our screen. On the right hand side, you'll see the Kinesis virtual card icon, as well as the currency preferences you have set when spending with the virtual card. You can go ahead and actually click on the Kinesis virtual card icon and that'll take you straight through to the virtual card tab. When wanting to access the virtual card details and be able to view it, you will need to enter a verification code. Now you will have two options when setting up the Kinesis virtual card. You'll have the option to have a SMS text message sent to your phone number used for your Kinesis money accounts. Or alternatively, you can use an Authenticator app. In this case, I'm currently using Google Authenticator. Just below, of course, you can see that you can reset this Authenticator. For example, if you lose your phone with your Authenticator app or your phone with your phone number. So there's always a way to reset this. So don't feel like you'll be locked out of your card for too long. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm going to enter my authenticator code from my app on my phone. Once I enter the six digit code, I will want to continue. And now you can see all the details pertaining to your virtual card. You can see here, you are presented with your virtual card. However, you may notice that this card is disabled and also the card number is censored. Now to be able to undisable or unfreeze the card, you can simply go ahead and click this button here. If I go back, I'll then be able to see more details of my Kinesis virtual card, my expiry date, the card holder name. However, the security code and the card number are still censored. This is primarily for security purposes and making sure that we have enough security for the safeguarding of your Kinesis virtual card. To be able to view these details for an online transaction, you can click on this small white icon on the top right. Once clicked, it will then ask you again for another verification code just to ensure the person that's wanting to view the card is indeed you. In this situation right now, I'll enter the code again from my Authenticator app. And once I've confirmed, I'll be able to view all the card details and be able to input that in an e-commerce transaction or whichever website you're wanting to make a purchase with your Kinesis virtual card. You will also have the option to copy the card details here so you don't have to type everything out. A really key element with the Kinesis virtual card is the currencies that you're using to be able to spend with on your card. You can see in this example here, we have Kinesis Silver, KAG, number one on the list of currency preferences. What this means is that when I spend with my card at the point of sale, it will go to my Kinesis Silver, KAG account and take the exact amounts required for the transaction, for the price of the product or service you're buying, and it will do an instant conversion into the fiat currency required for that transaction. Say for example, I'm in a store in the United Kingdom and the price is GBP, Great British Pounds, and I make a purchase at the point of sale. What will occur in this situation is that the card will then go into my Kinesis Silver account, my balance, it will then make an instant conversion uh, to Great British Pounds at the point of sale. So we do most of the heavy lifting here for you. There is no need to top up with Great British Pounds. You can keep maximum exposure to your precious metals or alternative assets. So you can see here I have Kinesis Silver number one. I've got Kinesis Gold number two, Bitcoin and Ethereum. If I don't have enough in the Kinesis Silver account, it will go down to the next asset, then to the next asset until the next asset until it's fulfilled the total price of the service or product you're buying. If I do want to change these currency preference, it's very easy. Of course, I can hover over, you'll see this red icon and I can click on this 
and it will delete that asset. Let's say, for example, I would want to switch assets over. I want Bitcoin in front of gold at this moment. I can simply click on it, hold it, and move it above Kinesis Gold, and it will save that currency preference. You can have up to five currency preferences. And if I click Add Currency here, I can select from the number of currencies that I would like to have be spent on the card. And let's say I want to have XDC. And as you can see, I can have five currencies on the Kinesis Money virtual card. When spending on the card, you'll of course want to be able to see your transactions that you have done. You can see here below the Kinesis virtual card, you'll see transaction details, the retailer or service that you've made the purchase with. You can see here, I have two transactions with retailers and you can see that that is in GBP. Now, of course, you may want to get much more detailed overview of your transactions at this moment of time on the Kinesis virtual card. In order to do so, where you would want to go is you would want to click on this three dot icon just below your virtual card. If I click on this, I'll then be able to see an option here of statements of transactions. If I do click on this option, I'll be able to create a time range for all the transactions that I have made. And then I'll be able to send this report via email, or of course, as always, you can download this as well. So if I head on back to the Kinesis virtual card, you'll then also see the available balance currently on the Kinesis virtual card. Please note that this is effectively your total balance of assets that can be spent on the card and that will be giving you a current market value rate for that currency. For example, in this situation, this account is giving me an available balance of what all my total assets would be in Euro in this exact moment of time. So this is live. Of course, there are many other options that you can do with the virtual card. One you've just seen at the beginning of this video, and that is to freeze the card. Of course, you may not want to use a card and you want to make sure that it is frozen in case of any potential event. You can do so very easily in the Manage Card menu and you can click on Freeze Card and that will automatically freeze your card and you can always, of course, unfreeze it as you would have seen earlier in this video. You will also see many other factors in play just for what you would want to read into with your virtual card, such as the terms and conditions of the virtual card that we have at Kinesis Money, as well as with the privacy policy. So overall, this gives you a very good rundown and high level summary of the Kinesis virtual card, how to use it, how to view the options that you have, and as well as to see your transaction history. Thank you everyone for joining me on showing through how to use the Kinesis virtual card on the Kinesis Money platform.